Hi, my name is Carla. I am a registered nurse. And for today's lesson, we are going to be focusing on unit conversion basics, meaning this is the information that you have to know before, before you can even do unit conversions. So to explain unit conversion basics, I'm going to have to show you visually a chart that I've created. So when we look at this chart, you can see that it's color coded. And the reason I have color coded is that many times instructors do not specify that when you are doing unit conversions, you have to stay within categories. So that is the first basic concept that you have to know with unit conversions. There are two. So the first basic concept is knowing that you have to stay within categories. What do I mean by that? Well, here you can see that I have weight in orange. The orange is the weight category. So with that, I have to now stay within that category, meaning that if I convert a weight unit, I have to then convert it to a different weight unit, but within that category. So I'm not gonna convert a weight to a volume. I have to stay within that weight-based. So for example, I can convert grams to micrograms, kilograms to grams, kilograms to pounds, but I'm not gonna convert pounds to, let's say, liters. I'm not gonna go from a weight to a volume. I have to stay within that weight category. So that is the first basic concept that you have to know with unit conversions. The second basic concept that you really have to know is memorizing whether you are going to be converting by multiplying or you're going to be converting by dividing. So you're going to have to know whether you are going to divide or you're going to multiply and then you have to know by what. But this is gonna to have to do a lot with memorization. You're going to have to take the time to memorize a lot of these concepts. So for example, if we scroll down here, I have an example of a pretty straightforward conversion with weight. You can see here in the weight in orange, weights, when we're talking about grams to other types of grams, is pretty straightforward because it's going to be in factors of a thousand meaning that if I wanna convert grams to kilograms, all I would have to do is divide by 1,000. And then vice versa would be the same. If I wanna go from kilograms back to grams, then I would multiply by 1,000. If you can see this visually, it's going to help. If you can, for example, if you wanna convert grams to milligrams, and if I look at this chart here, that means I would have to multiply by 1,000. And then vice versa would be the same thing. If I wanna go from milligrams back to grams, then I would divide by 1,000. So you can see here, if I go left, I am dividing, and if I go right, I am multiplying. By what factor you are dividing or multiplying will have to depend on you being able to memorize which factors you're multiplying or dividing by. So the next concept that you have to know in terms of memorization is knowing specifically which units are bigger and which units are smaller. So that is kind of the part two of the second basic concept of unit conversions. The second basic concept being memorization. So with memorization, aside from knowing what to multiply and divide by, you also have to know which units are bigger and which units are smaller. Because if you don't, you're not gonna know whether you're going to have to make it bigger by multiplying or make it smaller by dividing. So there's different types of mnemonics that you can memorize. So for example, micro, think microscope. Microscope, this means that you're looking at the teeniest, tiniest particles. So this is gonna be the teeniest, tiny unit, if you wanna think of it that way. With milli, you can think, think mini. That's something that is small. So milli, think mini. Grams, that's gonna be your standard, your base, your starting point. And then kilo, you can think king, someone who is grand, someone who is big, right? So it really depends on how you wanna memorize, how you wanna go about memorizing. There's different mnemonics, there's different tricks, but that's the other concept with memorization. You not only have to know whether to multiply or divide and by what, but you also have to know which units are bigger and which units are smaller. So like I said, with this video, we are not gonna be focusing on actually converting units. We're not gonna be doing actual math calculations. We're gonna save that for a different video. With this video, we are really focusing on the basics because if you don't know the basics, you are going to be struggling to do these unit conversions and you need these unit conversions to be able to do all of the more complicated math calculations later on because they're gonna give you a bunch of unit conversions, a bunch of abbreviations, and you have to be solid. You have to be confident in these unit conversions and abbreviations. So that's it for this video. If you wanna see some more math videos, go ahead and check out my other videos. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and message me below.